stacking any of these police or public safety bills that are coming out of the Rules Committee getting a vote this week? We've got to take a look because some of the bills are still being developed. As you can see, the Democrats don't have the votes uh, for any of the bills. There's some real concern and components. They have one bill that defunds the police yet again at a time when crime is out of control, where they literally take grants away from cops and say, in lieu of giving it to cops, you've got to give it to people like social workers. So if somebody calls 911 because somebody with mental health problems uh, is, is trying to, to kill somebody, uh, that victim doesn't want a mental health counselor. They want a cop to show up. And yet in one of the bills, they defund the police by taking that money away from cops. Uh, when will Democrats get the message that people want safe communities? They don't want defunding of the police, yet Democrats here in Washington still want to go after cops, still want to defund police, still want to encourage cashless bail, where a candidate for governor of New York, who is a House colleague of ours, Lee Zeldin, can have his life threatened, and within six hours, the guy's released without a dime of bail being paid. That's what people are outraged about, and if the Democrats keep going down that road, you're going to see strong rejection here. Uh, if they want to support cops, we're there with them, and we've been encouraging uh, Democrats to reject their defund the police mantra. We haven't seen the final language on any of it because, again, Democrats don't have the votes yet for any of these bills. I'm concerned that the far left keeps driving these bills further and further away from where the mainstream of America is. So we'll see what happens when these bills come to the floor. But they've got any language that defunds the police. We're going to be very vocal in opposition.